What's up everyone? How's it going today? I'm back. Over the past week, I was on vacation in Myrtle Beach. Very nice place in South Carolina. But let me tell you, this vacation was a bit of an experience. Tons of different activities, so many crazy things that happened, and we're covering it all right here right now. So to start off, the first day of the vacation was absolute insanity. We spent like over $500 just on the first day with a budget of I don't even know how much, but it it was the first day was a big spending day. We went uh what did we do on the first day? We went to this like pier sort of area and I uh, hit a bunch of gift shops and stuff. I got this wonderful hat and uh, a pair of sunglasses along with many more. Along with this drone! So yeah, the first day was just all about buying things and kind of trying to experience where we really were. I don't really know what happened in between, but somehow I ended up ocean fishing. I caught Nothing. All right, everybody, bring him in. We're gonna try another spot. I did still get some fishing footage, though. Um, not anything too exciting. It's just me trying to stay balanced while the boat's rocking, and I'm holding this heavy, like, rod with a 12-pound sinker. I don't know. But either way, it was pretty fun. Uh, oh, I have a better way of explaining it. So, everyone on the boat was having the same exact experience. <laughs> First round was like, okay, we're trying to, we're kind of figuring out the waters, no pun intended. We're kind of just, like, feeling it out, seeing how things are gonna work. Then, fishing spot number two comes around, and I am completely exhausted. Uh, that's fine. I don't know what happened, or what the difference was, but... I just, when we got to that second fishing spot, I had to sit down a couple times. I was like, I I wasn't, my legs were exhausted from standing because there was no seats. You had to stand to fish. But it was just weird. It was like, I felt scared, I guess? I felt like the anxiety coming up in my chest and it was weird. It only helped when I sat down. It only stopped doing that when I sat down. It was really weird. I don't get what that is or what causes it or whatnot. But yeah, I was like, I was standing there and I was like, I was feeling tired, but I was also like feeling scared or something. I don't know why. So yeah, the second round of fishing was definitely an interesting experience. But then the third round is I'm just numb. I am just completely numb to the entire situation around me, and I, I'm i just fishing. We're just there. All of us are just fishing, hoping to catch something. Like, we're, we're just, we're not even all there. <laughs> oh yeah, going back to the second round, there was some people that had to go into the, I forgot what it was called, but like the inner part of the boat, and they just slept they just laid down and they just slept it was it was kind of oh more more so overweight people but still like that second round it was that was a weird one but none of it matters because i caught absolutely nothing so another one of the things we did was we went back to that pier i was talking about with all the uh item shops i don't know why that just that term sticks in my head i want to call them item shops so i'm just gonna go with it but yeah we had we headed back to the pier with all the item shops and stuff and we found that they had zip lines all right and speed boats so we definitely did those and those were a lot of fun. I don't know, it's nobody was ever telling me like what the rules were. Like the place with the zip lines, they had helmets with GoPro things on them, GoPro mounts, but they said they weren't, they weren't using them anymore. So I just like, I didn't know whether it was okay, whether or not I could bring my GoPro here. I'm okay, I'm still on the Hero 5 session, okay? Don't, don't yell at me, all right? The footage might not be the best quality, but it did the job. So first we went on the speed boat with this dude that was literally about to tip this thing over. <laughs> I don't get how the boat didn't sink because the water was coming up to the side, like right along the edge there. I don't get it. I don't get how that boat works. It ended up being a lot of fun, like 
five minutes of fun, but still fun. It was fine, fine. I just wish I would have held the camera up here. It's just I was trying to keep it like down here in front of me. So, uh, like I had my hands on the railing, obviously, because I didn't want to fly out of the boat. And I tried to keep the GoPro like in front of me so the person driving wouldn't see it because I would. I'm. I don't know. People. Nobody's telling me anything. Or is there anything allowed? I don't know. Is the GoPro allowed? I don't know. So I just tried to keep it like out of their sight as much as possible. But I did bring it up here and got the best angle ever. If I would have kept it like that for longer, it would have been so good, but oh well, that's fine. And next came the zip lining because they were both in the same area. The boats were like going all over the water on the bottom and then the zip lines went right above them. It, it was it was a cool setup they had over there. There was a Ferris wheel, there was an upside down building, there, there was all sorts of stuff. This was the entertainment area of Myrtle Beach. So anyway, we get to the zip line area and the lady's showing me how to put on all the harness stuff and all the uh, gear. And on our way up, there are so many um, fish. I forgot what kind they were, but there were so many of them. There were so many turtles as well, just in the water. What it was is they had a thing on the corner where you could feed the fish, and all the fish were just gathered there, piling on top of each other. Carp. I think that's what it was. Carp. I don't. I don't know. I forget everything when I start recording. Okay, I would know this stuff normally, but anyway, this was the setup for when I went zip lining. I had the GoPro on the front of my head. I had my head on backwards. Had the GoPro going through the head. It it stayed on. It did good. It didn't fall off my head into the water, the carp infested water below. Oh, it's tight though. Now I wasn't really bothered by the zip line at all because I figure if anything was to break, I'd just fall in the water and worst case scenario, I would land on the boat and go for another fun five minute ride. But they're bringing us up the stairs and they get to me on the zip line and I haven't zip lined in forever. So this is going to be pretty interesting and off I go. They told me to keep both of my hands on the rope to kind of hold myself there, but I I really wanted to grab the GoPro and see if I could get like a better angle of myself, like hold it out like that. When you're holding the GoPro out here, you just get good stuff. But I guess what I got was okay. Was, I don't know. It's, it, all I know is that was a lot of fun. The combination of that and the boat stuff, it, it was it was plenty of fun. And then we went to the zoo. Well, I don't know if it was a zoo. It was more of like an alligator sanctuary place and they just happened to have other animals. But the main theme was crocs. Alligators, crocodile days, all sort of stuff. Dang it, I, you know what, we're gonna go with it. Sorts, sorts of stuff. I, I'm just gonna say, we saw some turtles humping. They were getting down and funky right in front of all the kids. <laughs> and yes, I was the dude that sat there with my camera <laughs> recording the turtles doing their deed. That's messed. Hey, I mean, it, it, it's something. It, it was, <laughs> it's, it's, it makes good footage. It makes good content, okay? What do you want, what do you want from me? And we also got to watch them feed the alligators and stuff, which was really cool. This owl gave me a dirty look. As you can see right here, he's, he's, I, I, I almost punched him out. I would have, if they, if they would have put me in that cage, if they would have let me in that cage, all oh, there would have been feathers flying let me tell you and speaking of fighting i have a bone to pick with a little five-year-old that was also vacationing in myrtle beach so i'm in the lazy river right just relaxing minding my own business with my family well my dad was up in the room because he was feeling tired is it was it was a down day it, it was one of those like chillaxing days you know those ones in the middle that i said i couldn't really remember what happened yeah it was one of those days but me and my mom we're in the lazy river just chilling just floating around and I get off my floaty for one split second and this little like I don't even know what to call him he he stole my floaty he took it he took it from me I, I looked away for one second I got my floaty stolen but that's not even the worst part like I got a I got out of the lazy river and I was like okay uh, apparently I'm done floating around every time he came around ah, I got your floaty ah, ah, ah. 
I would have I would have done it. I would have drowned him. But unfortunately, there was other people there and my family was there and just I don't know. It would have been a whole case like I would have gone to prison and whatnot. You know, I mean, it would have been worth it. <laughs> but yeah, I uh, I almost drowned a kid at Myrtle Beach. I, I was I was that close. That close. Every time he came around, just <laughs> I got you floating. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> and uh oh yeah this kind of goes with it. at the end of the trip we needed to get rid of the boogie boards and football that we had bought over there i mean we, we couldn't get rid of the football so that's here but the boogie boards we got rid of i thought about like if we saw the kid again we agreed that like we would do this here's a boogie board Oh, sorry. You got to be nicer next time. Here, kid. Here you go. <laughs> just, just tease him with it. Just, oh, you want the burger board? Oh, nope, nope, nope. Got to be nicer next time. Got to be nicer to people. Live and you learn. That kid has it coming. Oh, yeah. And going back to the alligator sanctuary. Here's a story. I didn't get any footage of this, but th this... <laughs> maybe this sunburn can work as proof. I don't know. Can you see the redness very good at all? Maybe, kinda, sorta. I don't know, man. What about this shoulder? Oh, yeah, baby. The story with that. The story with this. I can't show that, but I'm, I'm 17. But you get the point. I got sunburned pretty bad. So, we had just gotten done walking around the alligator sanctuary. We had sweat off all of the suntan lotion that we had put on for that day. And we were we figured, let's, let's walk, uh, let's walk the pier. Let, let's let's go check out the pier and stuff. So we get to the pier, and this pier, you can see it from our hotel room. It has this big yellow, like, section on it. I got some- oh yeah, I did get footage at the pier. I'm just remember the- I'm just now remembering all this as it goes. I'll get to the crazy part later, but this pier- so it had an amazing view of the whole coastline. It, or coastline? Is that the right word? The, the shore. Or the shoreline, we'll say. It was great. I attempted a time lapse, but- <laughs> yeah, it, it wasn't there long enough. I don't know, the camera kept moving, so I was like, eh, to heck with this. So we get done at the pier, we start heading back. The, these guys were fishing. A four to five foot, like, shark comes launching out of the water, probably three yards from where someone's swimming, or actually a bunch of people are swimming. They tell you not to swim by the piers, and this is the reason. <laughs> I looked over half a second. It was just, it was, it was, Big, big fishy, big shark go boyo, jump. I don't know. It was, that was absolute insanity. But that's not even the craziest part. I said that like it was the crazy part I was getting to, but no, this is what I'm getting to. So we were talking with the fisherman for a while about what had just occurred. <laughs> and my dad looks on his phone and he says, oh, our hotel's just a 10 minute walk from here. Cause our hotel is, like I said, down the beach. You can see the pier from the hotel. It looks pretty far still from the hotel at least, but the phone says it's a 10 minute walk. So we believe it. He was looking at the driving section. You know how on Google it shows you like, oh, if you fly, walk, bike, bus, car, whatever it might be? He was looking at the driving section. The walk section said an hour and a half or something like that. I don't know what it said, but it took us an hour and a half in the beating hot sun on the sand to get back to our hotel. Now, I didn't walk. I jogged for most of the ways, but this is where things get interesting. So in the portion where I walked, I was sticking with my parents and we ran into a bit of an obstacle. We had just got a bunch of new souvenirs and stuff. We have our valuables in the bag. I have that camera in the bag, the one you're talking to me through right now. Well, talking to me, I don't know. You're watching me on right now. I've got the GoPro, I've got the hat uh, that I'm not gonna wear. I may have gotten a new hat, but it's not, it's not like, daily wear worthy. It doesn't have the flat bill. It's a curved one. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up. So we had this bag full of expensive electronic equipment. It was waist deep. There was a like mini river from the ocean to somewhere up at the top of the shore. It didn't end. It kept going. It like went around this corner and I don't know where it stopped. We had to go through it. We had no other choice. And it was the only way we were getting back to the hotel because we didn't want to call a taxi and just waste that kind of money. So my mom's like, okay, you go test it out. And I'm like, oh, okay, thanks mom. Yeah, you want me to go see if I can pet a shark too? You want me to test that out? But anyway, um, yeah, I, I get into this thing. We're not in our bathing suits. We're in normal clothes, normal people things. And yeah, it's waist deep. 
like the guy that was sitting in it and it was up to here on him was saying and my shorts quickly became not see-through but formed <laughs> Not too bad. I was able to, like, survive getting to the hotel, but I don't know. That is... I don't even... I, I wasn't even watching whether people were looking or not. I was just trying to survive. So yeah, I make it across. Um, well, we all made it across. Uh, the bags were fine. Everything was fine. But then we had the two-thirds of the walk to do, and I started jogging. I didn't jog the whole way, obviously, because I'm in the beating hot sun, and... I just, I just did the best I could to get back to that hotel. A couple times I thought I passed it, but uh, it turns out it was just like millionaire houses and uh, big buildings and stuff like that. Other, other hotels. But I could tell because our hotel like had a bigger bottom part and then it uh, had a pool like on a lazy river and a pool, some hot tubs on like the halfway deck point area. And then um, it went up, uh, another couple floors it had like 13 floors or something so yeah by the time i get back to that hotel i am just completely <laughs> i i'm a mess i am a 100 percent a mess i just like it was i don't know i i that should be a that should be a marathon like from one part of the beach one little part of the beach the beach keeps going it's not like we went from one end to the other this was only a small section of the beach but yeah that <laughs> that was way longer of a walk than we had anticipated and of course when i get to the hotel i get stuck in the elevator with a couple people like close to my age couple dudes it's like eh, why i just i just make it to my room why do i have to deal with people we didn't, they didn't speak to me, I didn't speak to them, it was fine. But, still, just people. People. Ew. Speaking of that though, there are some pretty people <laughs> at Myrtle Beach. Me wow. <laughs> that was the day before we left, and then the day after that, we just kinda sat around, had breakfast and whatnot at the hotel, ate a little bit at the airport too. Before we departed at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and... Yeah, now we're here. That was a fun vacation. It was a great experience. Uh, it was a it was a great just refresher. It was it was really nice. I, I needed it, whether I liked it or not. I really needed it because now I am refreshed. I know I said refresher, but I can't think of any other words. I know what I'm doing. I know what I want to do. I know what I want to accomplish again. I I made that tweet. I made that like here. I'll put it here. I made that tweet. I made. I made that promise, 500 by 2022. Gotta make it happen. I know exactly how I wanna do things. Let's make it happen.